Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very nice chocolate coconut almond milkshake. Very, very nice indeed. So welcome back to the game. Previously, we were planning off this, which is, for the most part, going to become the solution to our legendary problem. And it is a legendary problem with legendary prisoners, specifically 40 of them in the left-hand side here, which may or may also come with a gang trait. I do expect, assuming the prison doesn't burn down before then, uh, for all of the inmates to eventually become a gang member. Anyway, there's a couple of changes we may make as we progress on, but for the most part, this is pretty much okay. I'm not convinced about things like this, but we do want to have a couple of changes which I've just made in around here. Lots of suggestions for different pathing and changing the solitary. I think the solitary bit, there are definite uh, solutions that are better, but we're still going to keep it there because of the the idea that basically it's like a like almost a threat. Like you, you know if something Thing kicks off around here. It's literally just around the corner for the solitary area. Um, definitely going to put in some sniper towers though on the outside. Probably one in the middle, like that, looking down the central spine of it, and then maybe one, you know, sort of, sort of uh, on the top and bottom, something like that anyway. But again, this is going to be uh, not set in stone. So let's crack on with some building. Over to Grants here, and we've got well, we've got a lot of things that we can pick up. We're going to go with, I mean, I guess the main one would be where are we at. We've got Basic Detention Centre and Administration Centre. That's going to give us a nice amount of money. We're going to go over to Staffing and go for one, two, three, four more workers. Walls and doors, and for the walls and the fencing... I mean, there's been lots of suggestions for the main out of fencing, and I do think electrified fence is the way to go, but I don't think spending 14 grand, another 14 grand... Uh, actually, what would it be? It would be uh, sort of... That's 14. That's without the cabling. So we'd have to put cabling in as well. Let's just call it 30 grand for both sides, and then another... Yeah, another 12 grand there. Basically, we're going to be spending more than we have. So the plan is to use just fencing we'll just use fencing and then we'll replace it later on assuming we get that far so we'll place the fencing in here like so and that'll provide us with a basic uh, a basic set although this is this is standard fencing i don't know if we're going to change this to I say the electrifying is probably the way to go, and a lot of people did suggest that. Um, as for the fence in and around here, we could go with grass fencing, because it'll just look a little bit better. So, yeah, I think we'll do that, and then we'll obviously plan off that as well. It's going to take a while for them to crack on building there. We definitely want this... Um this double sort of outer skin though just to stop any blitz out attempt and that is the basics of that we'll speed up to max speed while they crack on with it so as in terms of here we've got a couple of things uh, yeah you see this this is why we've uh, done the fence different so that's uh, like you can it's a noteworthy different color so we know to replace that or it's gonna look hideous until i forget about it um <laughs> We could also do a perimeter wall, but quite frankly, if you're spending 200 per square, you might as well spend 175 and then put some um, some cable in it and really stop people going over it. But anyway, I digress. So yeah, these buildings here, we're going to have a reception and is it's like a visitor um, gathering area and then we want uh, staff only areas. So I'm not entirely sure what this is going to be, nor this one. I mean, I may keep that. It seems a bit like overhandling but uh, we'll see so we do need an area for the staff so we need well i don't think we need a we do need a staff room but we don't need a staff canteen but we certainly need an area for well our officers and let's just say this is going to be it so we need one two three four and then the uh, wall comes along like so so that actually works out very well so can we get six in i think we can and one two three four five six <laughs> So, it's something we just randomly planned out, that's actually worked out exceptionally well. So we will place a door there, and that's going to be all of our staff areas. For this area, um, we do need a security room, but I think this can probably be it. This one, then, we want in a... Well, we need somewhere for power, and, well, a 5x5 five five would go in here. So we could have a 5x5 five five there, and then the water pump, which is... How big is the water pump? It is... Oh, yeah, it's 3x3. Three three. Mm, I don't like the idea of the water pump there. That's not going to work out. So we could place the water pump there and then have the rest as storage. That is perfectly acceptable. Yeah, I think we could probably do something like that. And then 
this will be like the staff only area. So that'll be an area for mm, that'll be security area, and then maybe armed guards, dog handlers, something like that. Anyway, um, I'm noticing that the fence is in, so that is good. Let's go ahead and put in some doors. So over to our walls and doors, and naturally the door tab. That would be <laughs> as standard. We're not. Mm, we could change up the colours and go with like large deal door red. Um, what are the colours of our of our prisoners uh, intake? It's not actually going to show there, is it? I'm fairly sure it's just the standard, so it's just a, a dark colour. We could go with the red red jail doors. Um, would it would it make any difference? I mean, it look different, so we'll put them in. Why not? So I'll put these in there like so, and then in there, and then that is pretty much sorted. As for as for this, I'm not too sure what we're going to do yet. We do want this outside, this canteen. Um, actually, no, this is going to have to be kitchen. Just realise that's going to be kitchen. So, yeah. Anyway, let's unpause it. And we're going to go over with foundations and then more. And we've got lots of options for foundations, but I'm not going to overcomplicate it. When We could go with the wall max sec and have that as max sec in here, I think. Because um, I quite like them, them doors there, max sec with the red. Yeah, that's that's something I think we're gonna we're gonna go with. But for the staff areas, um, what will complement the the staff areas? Well, we're not gonna go with a barred wall or rusty or this classy burgundy colour. No, I don't think we want anything like that. Um, could you just go with like a a white wall. That'll contrast that quite well, actually. Let's try that. So that is. Hang on a second. Is that is that more expensive? A hundred for that, whereas the standard, the standard brick, is sixty. So it's six grand for that. Whereas if we were to build the wall white, it's going to be a bit more expensive, nine grand. For the sake of doing something different, we're gonna we're gonna run with that one. Um, okay, so over to our walls and doors, and then to doors, and then we're gonna have a. This is just going to be staff doors. There's no no drama on that one. So staff door will go, will go in there. And we need to build two offices: a warden uh, to hire, uh, unlock finance, and hire an accountant. So I'm going to go with a warden. There's the warden. I think that's Alexis, Alexis Lynn, and guards. One, two, three, four, five. Now why am I fi hiring five guards now? There's a reason. Because the guards have to be in the prison for a certain amount of time in order for us to rank them up. So getting them just before prisoners will not afford us that privilege. So we're going to get them now so we can then, you know, do all of that. May not work. We'll see how it goes. Okay, wall white. And then we're going to... We're not going to clone it. We'll just uh, build it as is. And let's just go ahead and crack on with that. So this is our staff-only area that will contain all of the officers required. Now I'm going to... I'm going to Build the footprint of it, but only build one office for now. Actually, no, we need two offices, don't we? So I will build. I will build two offices, one there and one there. Um, as for more foundations, we're going to go with the white wall, and then this will go in along here, and then to there, and then to there. And again, this is going to be like a, a room for storage or whatever. This well, storage probably up the top, and then this bottom bit is going to be for our. Um, of our power bit so that can once again become a staff area and I think a double door there will look quite good so obviously a lot all in the dark here which is fair enough let's zoom in and see what we can get well we need an office desk we can go with a fancy desk though should we see if we get a fancy desk um, desk fancy if we want one like that I think what we'll do is we'll have a we'll have a fancy desk although uh, it doesn't have a computer in which is no, I, I, think, I think we're just going to go with a standard desk. We'll go with a standard desk. So, desk there, desk there. We will give them a nice office chair, though. And then, obviously, we need to have in... We don't need a cactus. Cactus? Cactizes? Cactizes? Anywhere. Is that guy stuck? No, I think we're fine. So, this is now being built. And once the offices are built as well, we should be fine. Over to our electrical here, power station. And then we're going to run some capacitors. Uh, actually, no, we're not because we can't put them in right now. Uh, but we will put in the... Um Oh, that was a, yeah, a good clunk of this powering up. Let's just put in the capacitors there. That is electrical cable. Uh, capacitors in and along there, that's fine. And then we will run some electrical cable across here to power those up. And naturally, we'll have to run 
power cables up here as well. Um, probably along there would be... S yeah, that would be fine. Capacitor just there to connect that up. Just to be a little bit more frugal than is perhaps necessary. But there you go. That's going to run to there preemptively. Um, I actually don't have it planned, but it will be as is standard object object for our metal detectors. So this is now in and the warden has went to the left hand one which doesn't really matter but I would have expected them to when I swear. Uh, let's just put the doors in for this one it just makes it easier for whoa cracking on next time and looks like that one <laughs> bit of a bit of an error there. Okay so we need to unlock finance if you, uh, through bureaucracy. So we're going to get finance and obviously we're going to get security and health and maintenance and all of that good stuff. So, while waiting on that, where do we want to go now? Well, all of this is going to be, like, say, staff uh, only and visitor only, mainly. So how are we going to... how are we going to build that? It'll require some walls. Or rather, fencing. We have rusty fence, we have fence walls, electrified. White picket fence. Not the most secure. I think the most secure is Cliff Edge because it's literally impassable. <laughs> so uh, if you want to build uh, the ideal prison, you just build Cliff Edges all the way around the outside and have it essentially, you think about the entire facility, anything inward of these bits, so inbound here, just think of it risen up like a big hill. <laughs> you can't, the prisoners look down and go, oh no, I don't want to do that. Um, okay, so we definitely want fencing around here, but what type of fencing? Because realistically... Uh, a barred wall would be nice. Um, I've not really used it much. Let's let me run a little section of it. Ooh, that section's expensive. How much is that? Seventy each, as opposed to three on the fence. Okay. I mean, we're still in decent position for a finance, but yeah. Speaking of finance, let's uh, also hire an accountant. Exceeds daily budget. Ah. So. Yes, hiring the guards at this stage has totally messed us up. Uh, okay, so one, two, apparently. Can I hire an accountant? Yes, I can. Uh, and now that the accountant's there, I, actually we can just go for uh, extra grant and bank loan, and it's not really going to matter. Security, health, uh, maintenance, all that's going to get unlocked. Right, so already a bit of a blunder, but I think we can progress on in earnest. Let's go for... For, what do we want to do? Let's, well, I want to check that out and remove the planning tool and it looks, it looks, it looks, it looks terrible because underneath is just solid foundations and I don't like that. So I think we're just going to go with fence grass and just uh, put up and shut up basically and we'll have to just see how we get on. I mean, to be fair, we may also put in just grass in, in here. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. So that's now in. Um, as for doors, we will have a staff door there and a staff door there. Behind that, we will have a, a solitary door. Actually, I'm just going to go with a jail door, just because of the the, the symmetry in the colours, so it'll look okay. Um, a staff door will also be presented there and there, and the rest of it is in. So that'll be the canteen. So we do have some grants we can pick up, so we're going to go for a uh, short-term and a long-term investment, which is going to plunge our balance down a little bit, but nothing we can't handle. So technically, technically, we should be able to hire security now. Yeah, we can, which I will unlock a deployment on that one. Requires the chief, which we will uh, hire said person and we're gonna have to do the offices now aren't we i guess it's uh yeah i guess we're just gonna have to get them done technically we don't really need the very last one but for the time and effort and money that this is going to cost us i think we'll just put them in there obviously flooring is not going to happen from the get-go uh there we go that's in okay let's just try a couple of things so over to rooms and to our yard and then this is going to be a yard I did, I did think about putting uh, flooring in here, walkway going around, probably easy to see in planning, just for the case, of, for the sake of symmetry and go walking around, but it's just going to waste space that we, we are a bit light on space when it comes to the yard, so it's fine. Um, back over to yard and place that there. Luckily, it's not shouting at us, which means it is a legitimate yard, which means it is secure. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. We need a kitchen, we need a shower, and we need a holding cell, and at least two cooks, and at least two guards, actually. So hiring them has not been too much of a problem. All right, so we 
said about cooks, it's going to be in here where we have our canteen. Our canteen's here, kitchen's over here. So foundations, more, and then we're going to go with the... Ooh, the tiled wall's nice, but I think we're going to stick with the white just because that's the precedent that we've set for for this one. And again, I like the idea of having the entrance there. I just I don't know, there's something about it that I think may... Uh, may seem look all right but the main thing is um oh actually no we need to change this up that jail door i want to dismantle the reason for that is um this needs to be staff only and this needs to be staff only so the workers can go around here freely and don't require uh, keys they don't have jail door keys however this area is uh, let me just lock these open this is visitor only, and the visitor doors can be opened by the staff, but not with jail keys. Probably didn't explain that very well, but hopefully it'll make sense. A double door usable by visitors. I'm sure the staff can use them as well. <laughs> Saloon doors. <laughs> There's all the remote doors. We could have gone with remote doors across the entire facility, and we have done remote prisons before, but with the best will in the world, there's been some issues with them, so... <laughs> They've worked, and when they work, they work brilliantly. And as soon as something goes wrong, it shuts it down. We've got enough on our plate than having to worry about um, issues with that. So, 20 grand uh, in there, so that's not a huge amount of cash, but enough to, I think, build what we need to build. So this is the kitchen, and we are literally going to place in the bare minimum required. So objects at the back, that'll be a six to there. So that's the two um, places for scrubbing up. We could have... You know what we could do? Which we've never done before. Like a, Just like a freezer section back here. Oh, I really like that idea. Freezers there. Freezers there. And maybe a freezer there. Is that the best way? Mm, five. So we can have freezer there, freezer there, freezer there, and freezer there. Oh, it's gonna sit, so it's gonna it's gonna work out well. And then that's all for the the cooks. Yeah. So that's gonna be the um, cooking station. That's gonna be your cookers, like so. Then the freezers down here. Oh wow. Okay. I shouldn't be this. <laughs> I don't know if excited is the the word, but. I just, it's different. That's, yeah, that does, it does excite me to build like that. That's cool. All right, piping. Um, I'm going to preemptively just run it in here and along, knowing that we will have to plumb it in. And let's go for maybe a run like so. And there's that all connected. So the kitchen is now legit. We just need a canteen, a holding cell, and a shower. We have, I think, more than enough money to do that. So we will... Go ahead and do that. Um, this is going to be a door. But do we need it as such? I mean, what, sort of, what sort of doors? It's probably going to be a jail door, isn't it? I'm going to put both jail doors on there. Obviously, the metal detectors need to go in, and we'll work on that. But canteen. So this is going to be canteen. Like so. And it is legit like that so we want in the bare minimum objects let's just see what we've got we've got orc benches which are oh they're only three long how curious so the serving tables need to go on this side <laughs> they're not going to go on that side they are literally not going to fit in um would that be better one two two <laughs> they're not going to fit Hmm. What's the best course of action then? Probably. Probably remove that and move these along. And that is, is that 14? Yeah, it's 14. So it would be 5 and 5. And then maybe one there. That's three serving tables. We don't need much more than that. I don't think we even need more than, I think we just need the two. But I'm going to do that and then we can have phone booths back here or something. It's in a state of flux. 
and that translates to, I have no idea what I'm doing, dog with a chemistry set. So we've also got things like the bamboo. We, we did, we've done that previously. Let's just keep it simple and have table and a bench. So that'll be a legitimate canteen. So we need two cooks, so we'll go for that. There's the two cooks. Then we need a shower and a holding cell. Ah, welcome shower. Um... <laughs> so this office here, it's a bit special. It, it's, it's different from the other offices in the fact that it has a shower head in it. So, you know, if the, if the person who's working in there, say, cycles into work, a good, you know, eight to ten mile commute, they come in, ready to work, all, you know, sweaty and stinky. They decide, ah, oh, well, I need a shower. Where's the shower block? Ah, no need. Just turn the computer off and the power, and there you go. It, it also happens to count as a shower for the basic detention centre purposes. And then the holding cell, which will be in here, which I think will also fit in perfectly fine because of this. And it is not enclosed. Now it's enclosed. Toilet and a bench. And that is, again, very easily done. Bench, toilet, and that's the basic detention centre grant done. Naturally, we haven't done this, and we're finalising other stuff. There's the grant. So we have a short-term investment, a long-term investment, and we've got cell block A, if we wanted to complete that. What else do we have? Staff wellbeing initiative. Build a staff room, have at least five guards without assigned duties, ensure none of your staff are exhausted. Doable, very doable. I don't know where we're going to put it. Let's, um, let's remove this, because we know that's not going to be a holding cell. And I don't like the idea of this being a, um, a staff room. I have no problem with being storage though. Like that. But I'll remove storage from that section and that section, just in case they try and place it there. So we do have a storage. Okay. Let's discuss buildings. Uh, visitor reception and those things, which is fine. We need an area for a staff room and we need an area for security and we need an area for the um, the buildings that the the buildings that this the, the prisoners won't get to. So we're not going to have a prisoner facing laundry nor a cleaning cupboard. Well, I don't think we're going to have a cleaning cupboard. No, we won't. And we also won't have a, a mail room. That could be the end of the sentence. There, I don't know if we're going to have a mail room or we're just going to have a non prisoner facing. But this and this and this. I think we need we need, we definitely need a staff room. <laughs> Let me just remove that shower. Um dismantle that. So I think this can be a combination of staff room, security, armory. So if we were to, for example, have a door in there, this could be our very much be a fairly decent sized um security room. And then, oh, actually, no. We'll have the staff room first. I mean, that is actually a perfect size for a staff room. It's it's no problem. I will make it a little bit larger. So there's that. Um, I may even go further. At the back, we're going to have the armory. That's just non-negotiable. We want it as far away from the prisoners as possible. So there is the armory, which is going to be a... doesn't need to be an 8x6. Six. A 6x6 six six is perfectly serviceable, I believe. How many lockers would we get in there? Well, we could have a row of four, eight, 12 lockers. Let's, you know what, let's let's actually expand that. We might need more than that. The entrance is going to go there because we want a dog kennel. Mm, actually, no, we'll put it, we will put it there. We'll put it there. And we could have a row of five. This will be kennels. Then the dog balls in front of them. Bit of a gap, and then that there. And then that wall. Oops. Then that wall. And then we need a security room, which will be, again, in that one. I think we're just going to shrink that right down, then. 
I do want it six. Uh, actually, we don't need CCTV cameras, but we will be placing them just for the sake of... Um, well, they're very good just for stopping a lot of the issues. Well, we get, a, we get alerts, don't we? So that's probably why we'll place them. Okay. Mm, I think maybe... Maybe this is oversized. So we'll shrink that down. We'll shrink that down. So it'll be that size. I'm sure I clicked on objects there. Objects and objects. So is that seven? And that'll be seven. Yeah. <laughs> and what's that? Six. And then six. Okay. That seems to be a decent size. Um, wall white. Nine grand. Which we knew anyway because we've already built that one. And to be fair, the entrance to that is on the side, so we are going to follow up doing the same thing. So, walls and doors, doors, staff only, and then there. And we'll pick up staff well-being initiative. We will hire two more guards. And we just need to build the staff room, which is going to go in there. Which we will do next episode. Alright, we're leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. The very basics are in. We have the guards patrolling. I don't know if the the sizing is... <laughs> I don't know if it's clear. Let's go um, just bring all the guards in. I don't know if the sizing compared to... Say... Yeah. <laughs> Compared to the worker is like really, yeah, it definitely comes through there, doesn't it? <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Yeah. What is that meme? In awe of this absolute unit or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. We've got storage in. We've got basic detention center completed. It's fairly secure. We've got the walls around the outside. Naturally, we have to look at things like deployment and things like that. Um, Oh, requires office. Yeah, I should probably uh, probably deal with that. <clears throat> there we go. All right. That's now done. And apparently they really wanted to go where the shower was. So we're leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect next time. We will do the Staff Wellbeing Initiative. We'll be finishing off the short and long-term investment and probably go for Cell Block A and or the one in the middle here, which is going to be the um, infirmary. So we'll see, as always, how we get on. And uh, hopefully it has been a fairly interesting episode for yourself. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.